Muse for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, users? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And welcome to the weekly update for the week of March 5th through March 11th. Uh, so this week I worked on a few things. Uh, the first thing was that I released the pet care template. Um, so if you're a subscriber, you received an email um, with a link to the pet care template. Um, I've also updated the complete video widget. I've updated the video player widget so it now works over HTTPS. There was an issue if you had an HTTPS site, um, the, the video wouldn't play. So that has been fixed. And there was a really cool update to the animated text widget where you can now add multiple phrases and I'll showcase that in this video. And I created a few template tutorials where I went over um, a few of the templates at museforyoushop.com. So I went over the fashion designer portfolio template and the web designer portfolio template. Um, so I'll quickly go over each of these uh, weekly updates. So here I'll go into Google Chrome and I'll go to museforyoushop.com. And all the widgets and templates I'm gonna go over in this video um, can be found at museforyoushop.com. So here you can click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. So we have the pet care template, which is right here. And I'll quickly go over the different pages. So I'll click on preview. So I'll scroll down and we have this nice menu that comes down when you scroll down the page. Uh, we're using a few widgets. So this was done with the Muse Motion widget. Uh, we're using the light box widget here box so background. the user can watch a video so we have uh, about us uh, here so that was the home page there's about us and we're using the responsive light box gallery here for this gallery and the template is fully responsive um, so here i'll go to uh, yeah we went to the gallery and then we have the contact page and here we have the contact us page all right, and we have a Google map here as well. So this template is fully responsive. So you could use a website like sizzy.co and just copy the link into sizzy and just view the responsiveness of the website across different width devices. All right, I will be creating another video tutorial that goes more in depth um, about this template, but uh, that is the template there. So we have the home page about us, services and pricing, the gallery section and the contact page and we have social media icons here as well. So yeah, you can go into Sizzy, just paste that in there, and just view the site on different width devices. So we're using the size slide menu widget as well for the menu on mobile, on tablet and mobile devices. So it's a really nice template if you're a pet care specialist and you want to showcase your services and images of your services. All right, so that is the pet care template. Um, I'll quickly read what's included. Um, it's fluid with design. It's responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile. There's a maximum of five breakpoints per page. The pages are organized within the layers panel. There are four main pages, home services and pricing, about us and contact. There's one master page. It's fully customizable. The assets are included and it's for Adobe Muse 2018 and later. And the widgets used within the template. Uh, so we have the Muse Motion widget. We have the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget the lightbox widget, the responsive lightbox gallery widget, and the side slide menu widget. And here we have the community section if you had any questions about the template. And uh, yeah, I'll be creating a video tutorial on the template to go more in depth and to showcase it in Adobe Muse. All right, so that was the first uh, weekly update. So the next one was the complete video widget update. So I'll go to museforyoushop.com and I'll go to the complete video widget, which is right here and I'll read the change log for this week's update. So the issue with the video player widgets not working over HTTPS has been fixed. And all you have to do to apply the update is replace the CVW at first video player widget. Um, so it is just for the video player. So if you're using the video banner or the full screen video, uh, you don't really have to worry about this update. But if you are using the video player over HTTPS, um, you just have to replace the ad first to apply the update. Okay, so that was the second thing. Uh, the next update was the animated text widget. So I'll just scroll down to that widget, which is right here, the animated text, and I'll read, read the change log. 
So there's now the ability to add multiple animated phrases with the multiple phrases widgets. Um, two new animations have been added, the head shake animation and the jack in the box animation. The font style and text transform options have been added for the text and there's the ability to change the font size at a specific breakpoint. Uh, there's performance improvements within the widget and there's updated code. So I'll quickly showcase this because I think it's a really cool uh, feature. Um, so here I'm in Adobe Muse. So here I'll go to the library panel here on the right. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library right here. Okay, so here in the search function, I'll type in animated text. And here we have the widget. So it's now animated text widget 1.2. So we have the add first, uh, which you want to place at the top of the web page before beginning. Uh, we have the on load and now we have the on load with multiple phrases and the on scroll with multiple phrases. Um, so here, the first thing I'm going to do is bring in the animated text widget at first. So I'll click, hold and drag, place it at the top right up there. And then I'm going to bring in the animated text on load multiple phrases. So here I'm going to click, hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse. Um, so for the text option, we now have font style. So you can select normal, italic or, or oblique. And we have text transform. So you can say none, lowercase or uppercase. Okay, so those are the new text options. And then we have this new section here called phrases. So I'm gonna open it. And now we have this option here that says select number of phrases. And we have phrase one through 12. So I'm gonna say, let's do six phrases. Um, so it's gonna say first phrase, second phrase, third phrase, fourth phrase, fifth phrase, and sixth phrase. Um, so here I'm gonna style the text a little bit. So I'm gonna change, let me center it here. And I'm gonna change the, the M value. So one M equals 16 pixels. So I'll say uh, three to make it a bit larger. Um, and then I'll change the font. So I'll select the widget. I'll go to the built-in text option in Adobe Muse, click the drop down, and I'll select a web font. You do wanna select a web font. Um, it won't change the text if it's a system font. So I'm gonna say something like Futura, and I'll do Futura bold. All right, so there we've changed the text. And that's it. So we've customized the text and we've added six phrases. So I'll go to file, uh, preview page and browser. And there's the first phrase. Then it'll disappear. And then we have the second phrase. So you can put as many phrases uh, up to 12 phrases and you know, you can write anything for the phrase. Uh, so it makes it kind of a really cool way to showcase information or to showcase uh, phrases or to showcase content. Uh, for your page, all right? And it would loop because the looping function is set. So um, I'll just open it and we'll just change the phrases a bit. So I can say like muse for you, awesome websites without code. Okay, so those are seven phrases. So I'll select seven and then I'm gonna make it a little bit faster. So the minimum display time I'll set to one second. Um, and then the animation in, let's do something fun for this. Um, so let's do, let's do the Jack in the Box, which is a new animation. And we'll set the delay scale to one. So it'll be 50 milliseconds per character. Um, and then the animation out, we'll do, we'll do flip out X. That should be pretty cool. And the delay scale one and perfect. So I'm just speeding things up a little bit so we can see the animation a bit quicker. And I do have a video on uh, using the animated text widget as well. Um, and I'll leave a link in the show more section below. All right, so you see Muse for you. Awesome. Websites without code. All right, looks good. So I'd probably make it even faster. So yeah, so there it loops and looks good. So that's the multiple phrases widget. Um, you can trigger, trigger it on scroll as well. Um, so we also have this new breakpoint option right in here. So let me make this text even even bigger. So I'm going to say five and we'll just stretch this out a little bit, something like that. And for the breakpoint, you can now change the M value at a specific breakpoint. So at the 480 breakpoint, I'm going to set the M value to 10. So uh, one M will equal 10 pixels, which will make the text smaller at the 480 breakpoint. So I'll go ahead and preview. And there's the text. And when I get to the 480 breakpoint, we see the text get smaller. All right. So you can make the text smaller at a specific breakpoint. And that also applies for the on scroll widget as well. With the on scroll, the animation will start, uh, will trigger 
when the user scrolls to the text. All right, so that's the animated text widget with the multiple phrases. I think it's a really cool option to kind of show more information uh, with the animated text widget. Okay, so the last thing I'll go over for this weekly update is the video tutorials for the fashion designer portfolio template and the web designer portfolio template. Um, so here on the widget page, uh, you can click on the template. Um, and here we have the video tutorial uh, for the template. So you can take a look and kind of see how how to work with it uh, within Adobe Muse. Um, yeah, and it just goes over the template in a bit more detail. Um, and then we have the web designer portfolio template as well. And here you can watch the video where I go over the template in a bit in a bit more detail. Okay, so that's it for this weekly update. So I went over the pet care template. Um, there was an update to the complete video widget. There was an update to the animated text widget. And um, I went over a few templates in more detail uh, within the template tutorials, which you can take a, take a look at on the uh, page for the template. So all the widgets and templates can be found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, so that's it for this weekly update. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.